Hello, cat lovers. My name is Roger, and this is my first recording for the Little Robot 3. Now, I have owned a Little Robot 3 Connect for just over a year now, and I'm just now getting into the review because I wanted to give it some time uh, to be able to use the unit. Now, a lot of people have um, done their reviews, you know, I've owned it for a month, I've owned it for three months, I've owned it for six months. And yeah, I probably could have done that, but a lot of people have done that. But, uh, you know, I'm lazy, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, um, the reason I got a, a Little Robot 3 was because of my 80 year old mother who has um, four cats uh, living in her household and um, I see I saw her struggle every day cleaning and scooping that litter box for many years um, what a struggle it was for her you know to have, you know, been down every single day, scoop that litter box and to scrape it out and to scoop it into a bucket and then to take it to the trash and then have to come back and you know, fill it up and, you know, and then have to take it outside and spray it off and then scrape it and clean it and rinse it off and dry it out and bring it back in and then refill it with litter again. And then, you know, I have to go to the to the pet store and to pick up a giant, giant tub of litter that she could barely carry, you know, to her car and then carry inside, you know, a really big hassle. Um, and of course, I myself have a cat. So we have five cats in the household um, and my cat stays in my room with me. She does not like any of the other cats. However, she does love the dog. Now, I do take that back. She does tolerate one of the other cats, one of the youngest cats, who we brought in as a kitten. Um, I kind of accumulated her to him when she he was little. So she likes him, and it likes him, I guess you can say, tol I'm just going to say tolerates him a bit. But uh, that's about as much as like as she gets so she'll tolerate him when he comes in the room but that's about it he she won't let him play or do anything or get too close to her <laughs> but she'll tolerate him being in the same room with her and uh, they'll eat in the same room sometimes she'll eat in here with her and she'll tolerate that and she'll let him use her litter box that's about it. But any of the other cats um, come in here and she just has a hissy, you know, fit and does not want them anywhere in this room. But the dog can come in here and she's like, oh, hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Anyway, I digress off the subject. But um, so for many years, you know, I've heard of the little robot and. Uh, the only other litter, automatic litter box I had many, many years ago when I had uh, my, when I had my original two cats, uh, Target and Patches, uh, I forget what brand it was. It was one of the, probably one of the, close to the first automatic litter box that had the raking um, design in it. And it was probably one of the better ones out there. I wish I could remember it was, but uh it was okay, but it was not the greatest back then. Um, but eventually I had to get rid of it because my boy cat eventually could not pee sitting down. And it would just go everywhere. And I got the cover, but that wasn't well designed. And it would still leak out of the box. And so I ended up having to go back to a standard litter box. But I had to have a box that had to have a lid. 
and have a really good seal around it so that it would, you know, when he would pee upwards, it would, you know, run down into the box. But anyhow. <laughs> so with her four cats, it was a big struggle for her day to day. And so I finally just thought, you know, one day I was like, you know, I just, I hate to see her do this every day for so many years. And, and, you know, I did a lot of research on, uh, on the automatic, uh, litter boxes and, and my previous experience was not that great with the one I had many, many years ago and not that surely they've come along a long ways since then. And, you know, obviously they have, and so, you know, I came across a litter rot, litter robot, which was probably the highest rated going. And I did a lot of research and I kept putting it off. And I was like, man, you know, those are expensive. And I was like, I really can't afford something that expensive. And, you know, it kept going on and on, on and off. And I was like, ah, uh, you know, it's just, where are we, we going to put this thing? It's pretty huge, you know, and, you know, Yada, yada, yada. You know, the same excuses a lot of us made before we got our little robots. And I, I think finally we just broke, you know, broke the straw, camel's back, as they say, you know, just, just watching her one day and just her breaking down, you know, just almost breaking down, having to do all this labor and the expense of litter. I mean, we... I can imagine the litter she goes through. I mean, I, you know, for my cat, I didn't go through very much litter, you know, because it was just my little cat. But, um, you know, I thought, you know what? I think I'm just going to do it. And so I think that following year, um, just right after taxes season, luckily, um, I said, you know what? I'm going to do it for Mother's Day. And so uh, I bought the robot uh, Litter 3 Connect. And uh, I think we got it before, right before Mother's Day. And I didn't tell her. And I thought, well, it's going to it's gonna come before Mother's Day. So a couple weeks before Mother's Day. And I thought, well, it'll just be an early early uh, Mother's Day present. So I'll just, I just told her, I was like, you know, I've got a early Mother's Day present coming. And... and uh, I said, she's like, oh, what is this? It's like, well, it's mainly for you, mostly. I said, like, it's an expensive item. But I said, I think in the long run, it'll help us. Especially you in the long run. I hope. But anyway, so I think we were, I don't remember what we were doing. It might have been Easter or I think Easter went late that year. Um, and we were out of town, we weren't, not out of town, yeah, we were just out of town doing, visiting relatives, and, and it was coming that day that we were going over to their, uh, Easter dinner or lunch or whatever it was, and, uh, and it was like, it was coming that day, which was weird, I was like, oh my god, it's coming on, it's being delivered and we're not gonna be here, I was like, oh god. And luckily the neighbors, you know, they were going to be home. And I asked them, I was like, hey, you know, can you keep an eye on uh, this delivery? It's going to come today and it's going to be in a big box. And they're like, yeah. And so, you know, we went on and the neighbor called me later on. She was like, yeah, your delivery got here. I was just like, but I can't get that thing in the room. <laughs> it's big. And I was like, that's fine. I was like, you know, if y'all could just keep an eye on it till we get home. It's funny, once we got home that late, you know, early evening, you know, got it in and mom was just like what is that big thing <laughs> and I said well it's your mother's day gift it's the litter robot three she's like well what is that you know she didn't know what it is I was like well it's an automatic litter box she's like it's gonna help you and your cats so you don't have to scoop poop anymore and scrape out the pans and blah 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 I said, but, you know, we don't know how well the cats are going to get used to this thing or if they're going to use it at all. I was like, you know, we have 90 days to try it out, to get the cats used to it, to see if they're going to use it. And then if not, then we can send it back to get a refund. So, 
So it took some time, obviously, for us to uh, get them to uh, accumulate it. I guess I could show you the litter box. I completely forgot to transition to the <laughs> to the litter box. However, this is not the current litter box. This is the new one that I just recently got for my cat, uh, Spirit. Uh, this is not a connect. This is just a regular litter robot three. Um, I figured I did not need a connect for her um, since it's just her only. But anyway, so we did get the other cats used, finally used to using the litter robot. It took a little while. We still have one that's pretty stubborn um, about it, but he goes when he wants to <laughs> and then uses the other litter box when he doesn't. But you know, sometimes that happens, but that's okay. But the majority of them all use a litter robot and thank goodness, because I have to, to admit that we recuperated a lot of the cost just in litter alone and labor for sure. I'm sure for her, the labor was go is basically completely gone other than just having to empty the drawer out and then of course the poop you know carrying the poop into the bags out you know which I do that you know to the curb but you know all that have scooping and then cleaning the box you know washing it and then having to dry it and then refill it and dragging all the litter you know that's all gone for her now so we've really enjoyed the litter bot uh three so much uh, for those four cats. Um, now, there have been a few bumps along the way, and uh, the Litter Robot community and, and the Litter Robot customer service has been fantastic. Uh, and I have learned a lot about this little robot, and I have taken it apart many, many times and cleaned it and detail cleaned it taken it apart and detail cleaned it and recently even took the bottom part apart completely and detail cleaned it uh not this one since it's so new it doesn't really need anything but uh our my connect um is actually having an issue where it can't it thinks the robot is full uh no matter how empty it is even if it's completely empty um like I said, it's been completely deep cleaned, you know, cleaned the sensors, you know, went in there and checked the pence, the pence, uh, I can't even think of the little pinch things. Everything is fine in there and it just will not stop flashing no matter what. So luckily customer service is sending over a new set of sensor boards and pinch pins, I guess you want to call them, whatever there is in there. So... Now that I've already actually took it apart, I went ahead and did that so I would know how to do it all. Uh, once that comes in, then I will be able to just quickly do it with no problem. And hopefully that will fix the problem right away. If not, then I would assume that something else is going on with the unit and it may just get replaced. So who knows? Anyhow, that is the story of the Little Robot 4, the original one. Um, we can be happier, we still love it. Um, and of course now they've released the Little Robot 4. And we purchased, or I purchased this one just this past April of 2022. Um, and of course it is still under its 90 day return policy. So, we have a decision to make, or I have a decision to make, on whether I want to return it. Um, we still have another whole month to go to return it. Or uh, I can sell it to some friends who uh, might be interested in purchasing the unit from me instead. And Little Robot will offer a $150 uh, gift certificate towards the new Little Robot 4. So... I can sell a robot for what I bought it for just over a month ago and then get a $150 credit towards the new one as well so I could use that plus uh, what I sell the other unit towards it which would make a better deal than just returning the unit which would make any extra money uh, 
that way. So I have a feeling my uh, two friends who have two lovely kitty critters of their own are very interested in it. They've been talking about getting one for several years and they hear me talk about mine all the time. So I think that's pretty much almost a done deal. Um, so I keep talking about it to them. And uh, so I think that's what's going to happen. This is I'll just sell them this one for what I paid for, get the $150 credit, and then combine those two together to get the Little Robot 4, pay the little extra, and then um, I'll be good to go and be very, very happy with both our Little Robot 3 Connect and the Little Robot 4 whenever that one comes in. Um, and as far as uh, my cat, Spirit, um, she accumulated to the Lure Robot 3 pretty much instantaneously. Um, she's always been very good about anything that's uh, been interchanged. Anytime even changing out to a new Lure Robot, to a new uh, Crunchy Bolt or Water Bowl or even a new Litter Box over the years. Never had issues. She would just, you know, sniff it, look at it. You know, I'd always put, you know, some of the old litter in, you know, with the same litter new, and she would never have any issues. She would just kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. And she would just, you know, as soon as she wanted to go to the bathroom, she would just go in there and go. No problems with this litter robot. She looked at it, you know, very curiously for like, you know, for quite a while before she decided to use it. Got in there, looked around, got out. And then later on, didn't have it on, obviously, because I didn't want it to spook her. Um, but she, uh, she went in there, did all her business. Same same day, no problem. And then uh, next day, you know, same thing. She went in there, same thing. And then the next day I turned it on, and she was curious about, cur obviously curious about it, and uh, watched the video. I mean, watched the uh, cycle unit. Wasn't really scared. Just kind of watched it. Watched it come back down. Stopped. Got in it. Peed and got out. <laughs> so, I think she'll be completely fine if uh, we swap out this for the new one. Or even if I go back to the old litter box for a short time before I get the new one. I think she's completely fine. She's a very smart, bright little cat. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I'm just super, super happy with Little Robot. I, I, I don't have anything to complain about uh, the Little Robot. Anything you get is always going to have some kind of, you know, issues down the road. But the community has been super awesome. Uh, there, there are so many people out there, so many videos on YouTube about issues that you that pop up that you can watch that you're like oh okay um yeah i'll try that and boom it fixes your issue no problem and super little mini hacks that will help keep your robot clean on the inside uh, trash bag issues i'll probably do some videos on that for my channel so people can watch those um some yeah so really fun stuff um, so I'm looking super forward to the robot, uh, Little Robot 4, when I get it, uh, hopefully sometime in July. Anyhow, uh, I think that's going to do it for the video. And that's all I really wanted to do um, for this video, is to uh, give you my little story. Because I'm really late to it, obviously, to let anyone know, or Little Robot know, that uh, I really love this thing. And it's been the best thing I've ever used. And I will never go back, ever, ever go back to scooping a little Robux. At least until I get my little robot for. <laughs> anyway. All I can say is, yeah. So that's what's going to happen. Alright. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I know it was kind of a long talk, long drag. But hopefully I'll have some more fun little videos about the little robot. If you have any questions, just feel free to post below. I love responding. I love telling people um, 
about the little robot, my experiences, all the little hacks that I've learned from other people who will get credits for those hacks. So please, please, please feel free. And I appreciate you guys watching so much. So thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time. Thanks again, everybody.